Hey guys, today we'll be making an adorable ruffle Valentine's Day deco mesh wreath. What you will need, I have an adorable sign for the center. So cute. A wreath ring, 14 inches. I have red and white deco mesh, Chanel stems, scissors, and a hot glue gun. Alright, let's get started. So, I'm going to start with... I decided to go with one roll of my mesh. Now, sometimes I do like to use two rolls, layer them one on top of the other. You can definitely do that, even if you want to take your red and your white and layer them one on top of the other. You can do that as well. But this time, I think I'm just going to go with one layer of mesh, and I'm going to go with the red mesh. Start on the innermost ring. Just like that. And I'm going to tie my mesh in a knot. Okay, so I have my mesh in the knot, just like that. I'm just going to cut away the excess. And I'm going to start with making three loops, one in each of my three spaces. So I'm going to pull my mesh. And the size of the loop is completely up to you, just depends on how poofy you want your wreath. So try to keep the loops as uniform as possible. So I'm making three loops here. If they're not perfect, it's not a huge deal, just as long as they're similar. Okay, so I have three loops. I'm going to scrunch, twist my mesh a couple of times and start back over at the very first space making three more loops all right so you can go with one two rolls in each section or if you'd like you can scrunch it again and add one more row to this section but usually if I just have two rows of three loops in each section that makes a pretty decent size wreath so I'm going to twist my mesh a couple more times and come to the next section and repeat the same steps over again and I'm just going to continue doing this all the way around my wreath again don't forget that you can layer this mesh so you can have two layers different colors two layers of the same color whatever you prefer but I'm going to go ahead and get my loops in place and show you what it's looking like So I've made it around to my last section, just making my last few loops. And this actually only took one roll of 30 foot deco mesh. So the amount of mesh you need just depends on how large you make your loops and how many loops you make for each section. Once you get to the end, and I'm just going to roll off the mesh, pull it through, and then I'm just going to tie it. I'm just going to tie it in a knot, like I did at the very beginning. So if you decided to use two layers, this is when you would kind of separate the two layers to make it even poofier. I decided to go with one layer this time, but I do have several wreaths that I will link below using two layers. So it just depends on you know personal preference. Just fluffing it up. And then I'm going to put this adorable heart right in the center. I'm cutting off my top hanger. Turning my sign over. Two Chanel stems I'm going to twist together to make one long Chanel stem for the top. And then I'm just going to use one Chanel stem 
for the bottom. As long as I have enough space for the Chanel stems to hang off the edge, then I'm good to go. Alright, I'm just going to take a hot glue gun and glue the stems in place. Just like that. And now we're going to add it to our wreath. So I'm just trying to push all of the mesh towards the outside of the wreath so that the sign can fit snugly in the center without hiding too much of my mesh. And then I'm just going to push the mesh aside, find my stem, and loop my Chanel stem around the stem a couple of times, making sure it's nice and secure. I'm going to repeat the same step for all of my stems. Just like that. So this makes a cute wreath by itself. Like I said, you could have layered the deco mesh with red and white and then separated the layers like that. You can also take eight inch long pieces of your white deco mesh and you see they're rolled to a nice little curl and then you could crisscross them just like that. Crisscross them. Take half of a Chanel stem and then you can place them throughout your wreath. If you choose to do that or you could even use ribbon. You can use some white ribbon and make a cute little bow or like I said or you can just leave it like this. The possibilities are endless. So actually instead of the deco mesh I decided to go with this really pretty ribbon and I'm just going to make a simple bow. So what I'm going to do is just take my ribbon and just fold it kind of like this. No special way or anything. Just like that. And I'm just going to scrunch it together. And cut the end. I'm going to take a piece of a Chanel stem. And twist it a couple of times. Just adjust it and maneuver it. Just like that. Cute, quick, easy, and simple bow. So I made a couple. And what I'm going to do... And since I have the Chanel stem, I'm just going to take the Chanel stem and bring it through the hole I have. And twist it in place. You can also use a hot glue gun and just hot glue the bows to the front of your sign. It's whatever you prefer. Same thing on the other side, taking my Chanel stem, placing it through the hole, and twisting it a couple of times. Just like that. And that looks so cute and precious. You can even add one more to the bottom. If you choose to do that, it's completely up to you. You can add any additional embellishments, more bows, ribbon, deco mesh, whatever you'd like. Just have fun with it and make it your own. Mm -hmm. 